Okay, so we're here, we're set up. I saw that you got the fire going already. Run into a little bit of trouble with a little snake there, but we made it all right. All right. All right, tell us about our menu. All right, well, we have some, uh, a leg of, of venison here. We're gonna do a venison stew with that. We've got some shoulder uh, wild hog, and we're gonna make some chili uh, with that. And then we have some uh, backstrap. We'll do some backstrap uh, medallions yeah. and accompany that with some roasted fingerling potatoes and roasted corn. And my favorite campsite dish, hongos con cilantro. Man, I can't wait to get started. Well, let's start with the shoulder of, uh, of hog here. We'll debone that for our chili. Let's do it. All right. This is, uh, came right off of the shoulder, the front part uh -huh. of a wild boar. What we do is just cut right along the bone here. You use your fingers to pull some of that meat off. You see bone. Yeah, you see it right there. And you kind of just work at it. Work down the bone. What a lot of hunters will choose to do is, since this is such a pain in the butt, you know, they may take their their kill to uh, a Process. processor and just mm -hmm. have sausage made or... Definitely. And you're leaving nothing on that bone. That's the idea. Doesn't always turn out that way. <laughs> Perfect, look at that. <laughs> Close. Oh yeah. That'll work. <laughs> okay, that's about as close as we're gonna get. All right, so what's the next step here? And I would just cube all this up, uh, make it about, about a quarter inch dice, and we'll get that seared up for, uh, for our chili. Okay, so while Chef Larry continues to cube up this meat, we're gonna take it to a quick little break, but we'll be right back. The Wedding Center and Chapel, the premier wedding center where you'll find all you'll ever need to make your wedding unforgettable. Here you'll find bridal fashion, florists, caterers, photographers, wedding cake experts, an event coordinator, event sites, and much more. Plan your special day with ease and make your big day more enjoyable. The Wedding Center and Chapel, corner of 10th and Hackberry in McAllen. Be part of a legend, the club at Cimarron, a premier private country club and golfing community designed with luxury living in mind. Enjoy world-class cuisine or play like the pros in our championship golf. Cimarron Country Club has it all. You and your family can enjoy a wide array of activities and social events throughout the year in the Valley's best country club. You've earned it, and your family deserves it. Golf, tennis, and social memberships available now. Call or visit us at clubatcimarron.com. Cimarron. Live in your world. Play in ours. Okay, so welcome back to Savor the Flavor. With us right now is Tony Chavez from the Tacubaya Ranch. Thank you for you know letting us, allowing us to come in here and, and bring the chef and do our sure. cooking out here. Sure, this Tell, is great. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about the Takawaya Ranch. Well, this ranch has uh, been in the family for over 150 years, and it's an uh, old cattle ranch. And uh, now we're looking for other ways to bring income in. So we have a uh, wildlife division and also a hunting division. Is it day hunts, night hunts? How does Correct. It work? We do day hunts. We have a casita that people can rent for the weekend. Uh, we hunt all the uh, indigenous game from the land, white-tailed deer, uh, Rio Grande turkey, uh, of course the feral hog, um, and, and uh, dove and quail. Great, so depending on the season, that's what's available. Yes, depending upon the season. Tell yeah. us about the wildlife. Uh, the wildlife division, uh, we have uh, real nice photography blinds where uh, professional t photographers come out and uh, take pictures of birds and other wildlife. We also have uh, walking trails, nice ponds, uh, and uh, for the birders. And, and these are guided? Correct, guided. Uh, we also drop you off at the uh, photography blind for a morning or an afternoon shoot. Are you ready or what? We're ready to rock. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll get more on the Takubaya Ranch right now, but let's, uh, let's see what Larry's at right now. Okay, well, we got our meat ready to go. I just need to make sure our fire is ready and get going. Great. All right. Okay, so I see you've got our meat. You've added some special spices. That's it. I'll salt. I don't go anywhere without it. I'll salt. Exactly. And of course, you can add your own. Absolutely. Your own taste. And I see you've got diced onions, garlic, carrot, and celery. That's right. And then over here, our chili blend and some chili powder, uh, some ground red pepper. Uh, I like a little bit of comino in the chili as well. Uh, we're going to add some beef stock. You can use water. Beef stock's going to add a little more flavor. Definitely. Uh, we're going to get this going. This is going to brown up fairly quickly. And we're doing this in a Dutch oven right here, right? Right. We're going very traditional today. Right, that Dutch oven just sitting right on those coals. And uh, it's going to be nice and uh, uh, nice even heat for this chili. Yeah. So that little vegetable oil down the bottom of the pan there. Look at that. Ooh. This is going to go very quickly here. So we'll start off 
their seasoned meat. You hear that? Yeah, the sizzle, that's the best. Beautiful. So you don't want it to burn, so you gotta move it around. Where a nice long paddle would probably be better. Yeah, yeah. We got that going. Onions Add some onions, onions, a little garlic. Beautiful. We gotta add a little carrots, but not the celery. We'll save that for the stew. Okay. Now you ought to be careful on this step because you don't want to overcook them. You can burn the spices. You don't want to do that. Uh, if, it, if it gets to where the spices are starting to smoke, you probably you're, you're overcooking. You're, you're, yeah, you're done. So we have cumin, red uh, red pepper, and uh, chili powder. So we're all seasoned up, ready to add uh, some broth here. We'll let it cook up and then add some tomatoes and a little tomato paste a little later to, to thicken that up. We're, okay. gonna, we're just gonna pour this in, cover it up and let it cook for about an hour or so. Look at that. We'll check in in about 30 minutes. All right, so we're about to get started on the stew, so don't go away. We're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll get started on our stew. So don't go away.